Bay burst onto the music scene with his platinum single, Hold Back the River, back in 2014. It was a loud introduction from a refreshingly earnest singer-songwriter, paving the way for his highly acclaimed debut album, Chaos on the Calm, which featured the global hit, Let It Go. Four years later, Bay is back with his follow-up, Electric Light. In this episode of Music Crush, we head to Greenpoint, Brooklyn to catch up with James at Soundcheck, mere hours before playing a sold-out show for thousands of adoring fans. Thanks for talking to us today. Welcome to New York. Thank you very much. Chaos and the Calm was one of the biggest debut albums in 2015. It went number one in the UK, securing shows with some of pop's biggest stars, including Taylor Swift, sent him rocketing around the world to every festival that mattered, and earned him three Grammy nominations, including Best New Artist and Best Rock Album. Bay was everywhere, and then he wasn't. So what's he been up to the past few years? Yeah, for the most part, I was touring. I finished touring at the very end of 2016. For the first time in all of that, those years and years of touring, the songs from my first record, I knew at the end of 2016 that I was done just playing those songs. I wanted to pepper the set with new songs, um, but I didn't have any yet, so I had to go away and write them. You specifically have gone through quite a change since that time. I know you've probably heard it a billion times. I know, look, my ears got really big. <laughs> and I didn't think anybody wanted to bring it up. What happened, man? They just grew, they just got massive. <laughs> looking back at older artists, like I've always done, and looking at artists now and what artists are doing moving forward, um, I believe one of the most important things and one of the biggest responsibilities for any artist is like, to evolve and to change and to, and to you know, be, um, you know, to test themselves, to push their own boundaries. And for me, and I think there's, there's lots of other artists who've done similar things that would, would, would agree um, and have their own sort of version of this feeling, I've got all these fans, right, who, you know, they're the reason I'm even here now. They believe in me. Um, and I believe in them too, and it's a mutual thing. But if, imagine if it was just the same thing forever. Imagine if it was just the same amount of belief. It would get boring very quickly. When you have that relationship with somebody and that trust, you're only going to keep any electricity in it um, and spark if you push the boundaries, you know, in an inspired way. So um, artistically, it was my responsibility to start a new chapter, to some degree play a slightly different character, uh, and in those respects, Stop wearing a hat. Bay's new songs mark an important transformation. If Chaos and the Calm pulled from bluesy childhood influences like Eric Clapton, Electric Light is a more adventurous contemporary sound. No song represents this new creative direction better than the album's single, Pink Lemonade. Don't ask me to repeat. So I wrote almost this entire album uh, with a very good friend of mine called John Green. You know, like all the other songs on this album, like it was about just going to places sonically that I hadn't really kind of been to before. Um, in the case of Pink Lemonade, it was pretty heavily inspired by some Bowie stuff, some Stroke stuff, um, some LCD sound system kind of stuff. My live show had been very uh, high energy and kind of loose and quite rock and roll. And I wanted to try and capture some of that on this record um, without making a live record. And I wanted to, I, there was a lot more kind of sort of wild abandon that went into the execution of this, the, 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 this record. Otherwise, and, and lyrically, you know, it was about escape, that song. I, I, I found in hindsight that I'd made this album about uh, unity and um, togetherness. But to make that more important, that theme, you have to have a couple moments on a record where you, you challenge it and you, and you go entirely against it. And um, there are always those moments in life when you know everything gets a bit too much and you just want to run away. If Pink Lemonade is a plunge into waters unknown, his single Us brings it back to the bay we all know so well. After the wreckage. Yeah, these are very soft. After the dust. 
on your latest single, Us, yeah. it kind of reverts back to your older sound. Yes, I it does. Personally. Yeah. And you know, that felt always felt important. Bridge the gap. Don't I didn't wanna I didn't wanna just sort of alienate all my incredible fans. Like th that was never the point. It's it's it is the point to push boundaries and, and sort of test myself and everyone else. Um, and as a track like Pink Lemonade or Wild Love does that, the sound of us um, is also similar to my first record because that's just sort of who I am very naturally as an artist. It's also very natural for me to want to do different things. It's very natural for me to want to explore different sounds and sound, you know, to put it simply, quite different to how I've sounded before. Is Pink Lemonade and us about the same person? Or Pink thing? Lemonade and us. Well, <laughs> hmm. I don't think, us is a rare song of mine because it's not really about one person. Us was a real response to traveling the world and feeling this euphoric sense of unity in all these rooms, these venues with all these people, you know, and even being on the bus with a group of people who day after day it was more like a family. And that wonderful feeling, uh, sort of sharing all these moments with all these people, whilst in the wider world, outside of my bubble, you know, or any touring artist bubble, you know, in recent years there's been all this everybody's, everything is so divided, you know, we're so divided from each other and, and it feels like it's still kind of like that in the wider world and like it might be that for a, a minute yet. Looking back on James's meticulous approach to the new record, it's clear he's a different sort of musician than some of his peers. The current musical climate calls for constant activity, constant motion, a never-ending stream of new music for the fans. James didn't do that here, but that doesn't mean he wouldn't consider trying it in the future. I, I did the kind of now, I think, old-fashioned thing, just sort of stepping out of the limelight and um, hiding away to make new music. I think, honestly, it's daunting and sort of maybe wonderful, but just generally kind of quite amazing that people today in my position are expected to, or just do, tour, do promo stuff, appear everywhere and are creating new music at the same time behind the scenes. And you know, the, I don't know where the downtime is in that. I don't like crave downtime. You just have to like listen to yourself sometimes and go and get it. But these guys aren't even doing that. And I'm starting to think, well maybe I don't even need or want to take another break after this record. The way that, you know, artists now create and release. And sort of, not forgetting, but kind of forgetting how it was ever done in the past and, and wanting to mirror that at all. As romantic as that might be, it doesn't matter in any other capacity because it's just a different game now. Whether I can handle that, whether I can do it. We're looking forward to new stuff. I guess me too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> new stuff on top of the new stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. We'll see. One thing is clear. Electric Light gives us a much better idea of who James Bay is as an artist. He's not someone who's comfortable being categorized. And just when you think you have him figured out, He'll likely surprise you. Chaos on the Calm was just the beginning, and James's story will continue to unfold in unexpected ways in the months and years to come. You know, if my first record was me in a kind of very organic first chapter part of my career and my life, then this is the sort of turning on of the light and the sort of that, that electric kind of buzz and, and the next stage. Flame, bulb, something else next. Hey, I'm James Bay, and you're watching Babel Music. I wanna give you love, but can it never slow?